Hello, good evening guys. So, this is Cedric's mommy and I want to share with you the book that I am reading. It is very helpful. It's full of encouragement. It's Become a Better You by Joel Osteen. So, naisip ko lang na magbasa kasama kayo. Pwede nyong i-screenshot siya para makatulong din ito sa inyo. Kasi, ang ganda talaga ng book na ito. So, let's try to read. Alright. Guys, this is the book, Become a Better You by Jewel Ustin. And, let's read this part 1. Keep pressing forward. Okay? So, here is chapter 1. Stretching to the next level. Famous architect, Frank Lloyd Wright designed many beautiful buildings, homes, and other magnificent structures. Toward the end of his career, a reporter oh, asked many beautiful designs, which one is your favorite? Without missing a bit, Frank Lloyd Wright answered my next one. Frank Lloyd Wright understood the principle of stretching, constantly pressing forward never being satisfied simply with past successes the entire world is waiting for your next adventure too many people are living far below their potential they have many gifts and talents and so much more going for them but they've gotten comfortable settled where they are and lately become too easily satisfied I often hear people making excuses for stagnating in their personal growth. I've achieved as much as most. Compared to other people, I'm doing pretty well in my career. I've gone as far as my parents did. That's great, but God wants you to go farther. He's a progressive God, and He wants every generation to be increasing in happiness, successes, and significance. No matter where we are in life, God has more in store. He never wants us to quit growing. We should always be reaching for new heights in our abilities, in our spiritual walk, in our finances, careers, and personal relationships. We all have areas where we can come up higher. We may have achieved a certain level of success, But there are always new challenges, other mountains to climb. There are new dreams and goals that we can pursue. No doubt, God has already done a lot in your past. He's opened doors for your, that nobody else could open. Maybe He's given you a wonderful family and home. Perhaps He's caused you to be promoted giving you favor with your employer or supervisors. That is marvelous. And you should thank God for all that He has done for you. But be careful sometimes when you are enjoying life, it is easy to become complacent, to get satisfied, and think, yes, God's been good to me. I can't complain. I've achieved my goals. I've reached my limits. But God never performs His greatest feasts in your yesterdays. He may have done wonders in the past, but you haven't seen anything yet. The best is yet to come. Don't allow your life to become dull. Keep dreaming, hoping, and planning for new projects, experiences, and adventures with God. Ayan guys, we're done reading the first page of chapter 1. And on my next video, we're going to read the next page. And I hope you will go with me. And I hope those na binasa natin ay makatulong sa inyo. And because it helps me so much. I hope na makatulong sa inyo. And that seeds also, i-share nyo din sa iba para makatulong din tayo sa iba. We will run together in this um, in this race, no, hanggang dumating si Jesus. So, bear with me. Thank you for being with me tonight. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe on this channel. And 
don't forget also to leave a comment kung na encourage ba kayo kung natuwa kayo sa video or not just let me know okay don't forget to leave a comment here and thank you so i'll see you again on my next video bye bye guys